Hello everyone, this is Zagony333, and this is Injection Pi 23. No name, no number. Yeah, guys, we are back for more. Last time it was action fucking packed. We basically slaughtered our way through the cemetery. We finally got here. It was, yeah, the, the most killing we've seen in a fucking episode, that's for sure. We've been stocking full of ammo, blowing things away, shooting our way through this fucking place. But we got to a puzzle. And, uh, yeah, actually, we even got through a few puzzles without the walkthrough and shit last time. It was pretty cool. Oh, and another thing that was funny, though, is, uh, it's funny the kind of mistakes and fuck-ups you'll make when you're, uh, lacking a little bit of sleep and you're a little tired. Because, yeah, I was calling, uh, I was calling the Ace of Spades fucking clubs and shit. It was, it, yeah. It was the Ace of Spades, you know, like the fucking, uh, Motorhead song. Motorhead's the shit, by the way. But anyways, yeah, we went through, and we got stuck at a puzzle here, this Ouija board. Well, funny enough, I checked the walkthrough, and you're not gonna believe what the goddamn solution is to this motherfucking thing. Are you guys ready here? I gotta reset this, because, yeah, for whatever reason, it also tacks on a letter... But I tried all sorts of things. I tried God and other stuff, which seems like it would have made sense. But no, this is what it is, okay? It's J. The next letter? I would have not expected this. It's A. And the last letter, guys. Can you guess what this mystery word is? Yeah, it's M. Jam. It's fucking jam, and that opens up a secret passage right there. So yeah, apparently the crownless fucking king, guys, is a bottle of fucking strawberry jam, apparently. I don't know how the fuck you'd have got that one, but <laughs> yeah, it's strawberry jam. Some kind of fucking stupid shit there. Don't ask fucking me. I tried looking into things and being like, well, maybe it's a Spanish word that means something, or... I, I don't know. I was trying to figure the logic there. Because, I mean, we have not seen any fucking jars of jam around. I mean, there, there's no fucking reason for that, but whatever. But we can now go in here. Whatever this is. And this kind of looks, uh... Not very, uh, good. Oh, fuck. Is that a portal to somewhere else? Uh, well, looks like we were dragged in to said portal to somewhere else. We're not in Kansas anymore, guys. Apparently, we're not in the graveyard, I don't think. And yeah, there ain't no goddamn way going back there, is there? No. So now it's getting into some evil within type shit is what's going on. This is not going to be cool, I bet, guys. Where the fuck are we? Wait, is this another puzzle down the way? I'm going to be so annoyed if there isn't a complicated puzzle. Oh, man, I, I will pull out my fucking phone right here, right now, guys. I'm just saying. <clears throat> okay, so we got some notes here. Thus, the wise man embraces the unity... And he becomes a model for the world. He does not show himself, and that is why he stands out. He does not affirm himself, and that is why he shines. He does not boast himself, and that is why he gets recognition. He does not give importance to his person, and that is why others enhance him. And precisely because he does not compete, nobody in the world can compete with him. Therefore, he creates without expecting anything in return. He fulfills his work, but does not claim his own merit. And precisely because he does not claim it, his merit never leaves his side. This is the old proverb, Be humble, and you will remain whole. Okay. Some wise words, I'd say. But here's another note, and yeah, there's totally a goddamn complicated puzzle, probably. <clears throat> Alright, gotta clear my throat before we read this other fucking bitch. Alright. The things that reached unity in ancient times are the sky, which upon obtaining it became clear, 
the earth, which upon obtaining it, became firm, the spirit, which upon obtaining it, became powerful, the valley, which upon obtaining it, became full. Due to unity, all things began to grow. Due to unity, every sovereign became a model for the world. Things are only possible if there is unity. Cool, cool. Can we unite in, uh, you know, saying fuck all these creatures? Can I get an amen for that shit, guys? Fuck all the creatures and what? That is weird. All of the walls have this kind of, uh, thing to read except this one is blank. Almost seems like there could be something there, but I don't know. Maybe that's probably the doorway out of this place. Alright, more long notes. Sweet! At least these are cool, well-written notes, I have to say. There is no greater sin than letting oneself be carried away by desires. There is no greater calamity than the lack of moderation. There is no flaw more painful than ambition. I have heard that the one who knows how to live does not worry about tigers and rhinoceros. <laughs> rhinoceros, huh? Rhinoceroses or yeah. Yeah, rhinoceros. That's what it's supposed to be, not rhinoceros. Whatever. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm making a stupid joke out of it. Rhinoceros when he walks through the mountains. Neither he care Why is there rhinoceros walking through the fucking mountains, man? I mean, I'm sorry, but that kind of creature does not seem like it could get up a fucking mountain very well. Just just got to say that, but Anyways, rhinoceros, <clears throat> when he walks through the mountains, neither he carries weapons nor shield when he enters enemy territory. That's a bad fucking idea, man. I'd, I'd be carrying lots of firepower. Thus, the rhinoceros has nowhere to gore. The tiger has nowhere to sink its claws into, and weapons have nowhere to stab their edge. I argue that. I have to say, if you have no shield and no nothing, there's plenty of places to get stabbed at. But anyways, okay, I need to shut the fuck up with these jokes. Weapons have nowhere to stab their edge. The one who possesses virtue fulfills his destiny. The one who does not possess virtue demands his rights. The Tao of Heaven is unbiased. It is found where there is a good man. Well, good on ya! I would carry a fucking shield. <clears throat> Lots of wise men, huh? If the wise man wants to rise above his own people, he must lower himself before them with his words. If he wants to be ahead of his own people, he shall place himself in last position. Therefore, being on high, he will not be a burden for anyone. If he stands in the first place, he will not be an obstacle for anyone. The whole world inspires him throughout his progress, and it never withdraws its support. The reason for this is that he does not compete with anyone, and that is why nobody can compete with him. That is why the wise man has a sharp spirit, but does not coerce. He is keen, but does not prick. He corrects, but does not restrain. He is brilliant, but does not blind others, precisely because he does not exalt himself he can realize his greatness. Great fuckingness, hell yeah! All right, well, let's let's hope we have some greatness when it comes to our aim with whatever monsters might be down here. It's very easy to understand my words and very easy to put them into practice, but nobody in the world manages to understand them, nor does anyone put them into practice. My words have an origin. My actions follow a model. Since nobody knows them, Nobody can understand me either. What gives me bravery is the fact that so few can understand me. The wise man who is dressed in rags keeps a jewel in his heart. Hearts of gold, I say. Hearts of gold. And we got more notes. The exile of the ego. The death of the demon. Chara... Yeah. Chara... Ah, uh, fuck it. Cor Corazon or whatever. Corazon. With Lao Tzu, Tao Te Ching. Huh, that actually, some of that stuff sounds a little familiar, oddly enough. I don't know why. Hey, there's a book here. I want to read it. I see fucking book. I see book. And actually, it looks like it has a Japanese symbol on it. Huh. Very bizarre. 
Very bizarre indeed. Well, let's fucking have unity over here. So, wait, what the fuck? It looks like it has a little face on it. I don't know. So this moves each of the... What the fucking... There... Yeah, there's different areas here. Huh. So we gotta probably... Realign these. But what is what... It obviously has to do with those notes or something of that matter, guys. But what is what? I don't know. I don't fucking know. These almost look like planets or something. It's weird. Yeah, I'll probably totally have to, uh... Funny enough, I'll probably totally have to fucking... Um, yeah, get the goddamn walkthrough for this one. Unless I somehow guess this fucking bastard. Which I don't think I'll be guessing this fucking bastard. No, fucking bitch, hey. I want the top one, no. <clears throat> there we go. Bring it down here, I don't know why, but fuck it. God damn you. Up. Up, I say. Can we go, okay, we can't go left or right, we can only go up or down. Is what it seems like. So yeah, we can rearrange those. Huh, but what goes first? There's a green one, a red one, a black one, and a blue one. It really makes me wonder. It really fucking does. Because I got no goddamn idea what the fuck I'm doing, guys. I got no fucking clue. So, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's bring up walkthrough. I'm sorry, folks. I honestly didn't expect a puzzle this fucking soon. Especially, you know, a more complicated one. I mean, it's not that complicated, but... It's complicated enough to make me look like a goddamn moron. <clears throat> yeah, we just gotta find the sequence that these go in. And I'm sure each of them symbolizes one of those papers on the wall or something like that. That way we'd know uh, which order... And stuff like that, basically. But it shouldn't take long to figure this out once I... Yeah, pop up in the video. Which I have the video playing right now. The fucker's getting pulled in. So don't worry, it'll just be about a minute or so. <coughs> and we will be back on the fucking trail. I don't know if that'll be a good thing, though, or not. Because it's pretty dark and dreary down here. And see, it makes me wonder if these are like the catacombs under... The cemetery, or if we are long, far from home. Which actually, Far From Home is a really good song from Five, Bing uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Let's see here. Let's see here. Wait a minute. The guy's looking at the book. Remember that book on the floor? Oddly enough. Why would he be looking at the book? Okay, now he's looking at the, uh, the the papers and shit. Which, yeah, like I said, I thought that those papers were well written. And actually say quite a lot. They are pretty wise, I'd say. But come on now, I know where he... Yeah, he's reading, he's showing all of the uh, papers. But I believe he is almost done showing those fucking papers. <clears throat> Can you step up to the puzzle, please? Okay, yeah, he's stepping up to the puzzle now. So which one's first? Okay. So he moved the red one down a little bit. The blue one goes at top. You see here. Okay, green is at the bottom. Funny enough, I guess that one. <clears throat> if this uh, sequence is correct, that is. So green appears at the bottom. The black one's the second one. Okay, he got it. Okay, so, let me see if I can fucking get it. So green is at the bottom, black is the second one. Okay. 
Oh, bitch, hey. So, yeah. Green is at the bottom. Black is the second one here. There we go, guys. We have it. So, we are further down now. And is this another recording over here? Oh, no, this is ammo. So, we got another big stack of ammo, probably. Oh, fuck yeah. This is the biggest stack of ammo we've had. Don't tell me that's another puzzle. It almost looks like a pedestal for another puzzle. Or something. Because, <clears throat> yeah, what the fuck else could this be? What the? That looks like an Indian, uh... Kind of like head, uh, garment there. Uh-oh, you have taken an object. It is the... That's the feather, guys! Remember that building way, way back a long time ago? Like, in the... Yeah, the third chapter or whatever, when we first got to the city, and we went exploring on our own? It is the golden feather to get into that building. But yeah, there's golden versions of ourself. Uh, it's not good, I don't think. It's not sounding good. But yeah, we have what takes to get into that building now. But I wonder if we have to just get back to the building or what? Wait, what the hell? What's, what's going on now? Do we have to rearrange these goddamn statues of ourselves? Is that what's going on, fucker? Okay, wait. That moved a little bit. That moved too. Hello? Statues of ourself. Can we fucking move? What's the point here? Do we have to shoot them or something? Maybe we have to shoot them. Ah. So we have to shoot ourselves, basically. I don't know if we have to do it in an order, or shoot them all. But I'm shooting them all, fuck it. Probably stupid, that could get us killed, I don't fucking know, but... Pretty weird, I have to say. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, well, things are getting trippy. Let's get the fuck out of here while we can. Weird. Oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, the hallway just keeps getting fucking bigger and bigger. We have to turn around in a second here? Okay, wait, this is the end, probably. There are those sounds returning again. Okay, so... As you saw, guys, that was the gate, I think. The force field at the gate is gone now. <clears throat> Let's see this note. Okay, so yeah. Corazon is the shadow, and the shadow is Corazon. Yeah, I'm probably not saying that right at all. Coranozon, or whatever the fuck. And the shadow should not be faced, but recognized. Facing it, as well as facing Corazon, is dangerous. But more than dangerous, it is a mistake. Just as the light creates your shadow, I am the shadow that creates your light. Ah, Can't do anything more with that Ouija board. But I'm kind of worried. Because if you guys remember last time, I mentioned that there's supposed to be a chase in this chapter or something. And that was really the only thing I knew about this damn chapter. Was that something bad was going to happen. In that regard. Due to that person's comment. So I'm kind of wondering... Okay, there's that unicorn fucking thing. Oh, god damn it. And there come the fucking babies. Now I only have two shots. 
we we'll have to kill these fuckers to get out of here. There's no way around it. To reload and fucking shoot our way through this little bitch. There ain't no Fisher Price fucking things out here, motherfucker. Run! Fuck! God damn this thing! Yeah, I did not mean to get hit, folks, at all. Fuck you. And you know what, because I'm fucking angry about that, you're gonna take a shot for the fuck of it, bitch. Alright, well... Oh, there's the other one. Great. There we go. But... You know what I think I want to do, guys? Since there's apparently supposed to be a chase or something. I want to run over here and I want to save again. I know, I know, but fuck it. I want to save again before we head back towards that gate because my hunch now is that... Oh, wait, what? Okay, wait, we're good. I thought I only had enough for one save left. My yeah. hunch is now that that chase is about to happen, probably. Okay, well, we have one hit left, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so... Yeah, we have that long trek back. Which also makes sense for a fucking chase. As well. I'm gonna keep it kind of slow, though. To save some stamina. In case that's true. Oh wait, there's more There's more uh, roses up there. I didn't even notice that before. Uh, Cause yeah, we have heard a lot of freaky fucking noises. Since we've entered here. And it seemed like something other than... Just these things. God damn, that was freaky. I'm kind of looking around freaking out here. Uh... What the fuck is this going on? I hate this shit. I really hate this shit. Cause I'm just on edge walking through here. The good thing is though, that I thought about it. We have two Red Bulls here. We have two energy things. So, yeah. We have that if we need it. I don't... Oh, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Holy fuck! Oh, I don't know where we run to, guys. Where do we run to? That thing's freaky. You know what I'm gonna do? Use it. Fuck! 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 God damn it! Ah, oh, I'm sorry folks, I'm sorry about that one. It's kind of tricky to, to keep on the move while trying to get into the, the menu. And also, yeah, it's tricky to do that while getting into the menu and trying to change the camera and all that. My guess was, though, we have to run back here. That sucks. But yeah, we know now there's a chase from this giant Medusa-looking thing. Yeah, my guess is we got to get back to the Ouija board. Something like that is my fucking guess. Yeah, this thing sucks. This thing really sucks to deal with. Okay, come on. We have this, though. It shouldn't be too bad as long as I can try to use my stuff fast enough. 
Okay, I'm trying to get my stamina back a bit. That's what I'm trying to do. And come on. Okay. Oh god, here it comes. God, it is fast. You don't really have time to uh, move your camera at all. You gotta immediately be on sprint. You see what I'm saying? Like, when I turn this corner, I'm not gonna see. I'm gonna have to slow down just to turn. Okay. Alright, use the goddamn Red Bull. Gain some ground and then turn your fucking camera. Okay, come on! Fuck this thing. Fuck this thing. Oh shit. Thank God I was right. It left us alone, guys. Holy crap. Thank God. Okay, well, fuck. I hope this means we're good to go. I hope this means we're good to go. I hope, like fuck, this means we're good to go. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna take a moment again to save. Because if anything, you know, it saves past the chase. And it saves us with full health. I don't give a shit. And we also don't know when we're gonna get a chance to save again as well. All right, let's get back to that goddamn gate. Let's get back to the fucking gate. And now, yeah, I'm betting that's what we do. We get to the gate, we get out of here, and now we need to go to that last building. With that gold feather. That was a pretty goddamn tense chase, just because, like I said, when you're, like, holding it like this, your, your, your thumb or whatever is on the run button. And you have to let go of the run button just to go like this and turn to see. Otherwise, you're gonna run right into the fucking walls and shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, I have to actually let go of the sprint button just to turn and move. So it was pretty tricky and tight to move around these corners and try to keep sprinting and shit. Those Red Bulls that we stocked up on and saved, though, those helped us. We would have been fucked without them. And yes, there we go. Chapter 7-1 completed. That makes me wonder, we're still in Chapter 7 then, huh? I mean... We'll have to see, guys. We'll have to see. And, oh, fuck, those goddamn dogs are outside. Those fucking dogs are probably outside, guys. <laughs> God damn it. We have to deal with fucking Fido again. These fucking things. I'm gonna run from them, though. But I'm gonna just run straight for the goddamn... Yeah, straight for that goddamn building. Continue. Let's see here, though. So, strange symbols. And that one, okay, that's an apple, and... That one looks like the Illuminati, kind of. You know, the all-seeing eye kind of thing, and... Other weird, strange symbols. We're gonna make a mad dash for that fucking building to use this gold feather. It's just crazy that we've seen, like, you know, the cemetery and that other one way at the beginning of the game, and now we're finally gonna see what's inside, like, this building and stuff. The cemetery area was pretty cool. But I'm anxious to see what's in this strange, fucked up building. We gotta hope these two damn dogs aren't sitting here waiting for us, though. Okay, weird faces. Twisting and contorting. Yeah, we get it. Okay, we get it. Peek a fucking booty, you too, asshole. We want to use the golden feather on the fucking door.
here we are. Okay, wait. So there is a die floating, and... Uh-oh, is that the benefactor? The, uh... One of the elite or something that's pulling the strings of things, it seems. But okay, yeah, we made it through, and... So yeah, that fucker was waiting outside. How's come the monsters don't fucking come for you, assholes? You guys are the ones who started all this shit. How's come you're exempt from fucking torture and hell? Gosh damn it. Yeah, stupid jokes aside, but okay, here we go. Wolf in chapter 7-2, there will be no... Does that say reminder or something like that? Or remain? I think it was no reminder or no remains. Thankfully, the dogs are not fucking here, though. They're not here. But yeah, guys. I don't think there's any benefit to going to any of those other things, other other places. It's telling us what we need to do, which is go over here. Which we know that already. So let's go do that. Let's run right to the building. Thankfully, those dogs cleared the fuck out. Those dogs did not want to get put down. Okay, let's follow the path. This path that we took so long ago. Which is pretty cool that we found it way long ago. And now I doubt there's anything in here before. Before, remember, there was nothing in here before. Yeah, there's still nothing in here. So maybe that's where the barking has been coming from this whole time. Was up here. What's weird is, yeah, it's indicating, like, over there, when we don't- we know we don't need to go over there. Thankfully, we already know where we need to go, and it's up here. At this mysterious, bloody, freaky, fucked-up place that says... Yeah, to basically stay away. Now, why is it indicating over there? But alright, guys. With those weird hands, are you ready to see? I'm ready to see. We used the feather. And chapter 7-2 completed. So I believe we are about to head to the final chapter of the game, guys. Which is pretty fucking exciting. <clears throat> pretty exciting, but... I do wonder about that safe. Because I never found a card or anything to get into that safe. That, you know, secret item or whatever the fuck is over there. But let's continue on again. Towards what I would believe is the last chapter of the game. Because, yeah, like I said, there's like, I think, eight chapters. So this may be it. Will we find our dog? What will become of us? What, you know, has this ritual done? What does all this mean? Will darkness truly descend? Will we truly descend into darkness? Kind of look like a brain with things coming out of it. That's what that looks like to me. You know, like mind control things or something. You know, because they want to control our fucking brain, apparently. Yeah, they've, they've wanted to control and harness us the entire fucking time. Those pieces of fucking cat shit. But okay. I doubt this is where we went to. I'm just saying. This must be back at that other place where they abduct people.
Well, it's nice to know that sleazy piece of crap is just having a good old time war in hell. Fucking asshole. He's the one who needs to get abducted and fucking thrown into hell. Wait, that's the priest from before in the ritual. And someone's watching him. I got you. Oh, that's that must be the girl that was executed, guys. You can't escape now. I'm wondering if that was the girl that was executed, because remember she was caught recording something? She was trying to expose everything, is what I'm betting. She was trying to expose this situation and yeah, got caught and executed. But she sent it, remember? She already sent that video. So maybe, maybe, they will be exposed, but... We've entered this fucking building. Alright, Chapter 8, Matter and Transformation. So where are we? What the fuck? It's like... Some weird home. Oh, fuck. There's things roaming around here. Got plenty of ammo. We gotta hope we can put it down. I'm gonna have to put it... I might have to put it down right now. Wait, what the hell? Please don't tell me the game fucking froze on my ass. Guys, gosh damn it, please don't tell me the game froze on my ass. But, if it did not freeze, I'm gonna have to, yeah, have this be our ending here, because the game's totally locked up. I hope it didn't freeze, I can save this episode, and I can bring us back here, I can reload the game or something and bring us the fuck back here. But anyways, I hope you're all doing good. If you like Injection Pi 23, no name, no number, like, comment, subscribe. I'll bring us back here. Remember also, if you like horror, to like, comment, subscribe for more horror as well. And this is Agony333, and I'm signing the fuck out. Have a great one, guys. Peace.